actually a pretty broad topic. So you have the aspects of data acquisition, uh, then signal processing, machine learning, and actuation. And, and, and AI enables you to flexibly address use cases with no programming. Machine learning is actually also a very broad topic. You have more traditional methods like support vector machines or random forests. And then you have uh, on the other side, uh, for example, neural networks that have uh, been uh, very prominent in the last couple of years because they are very performant solving a particular task. It doesn't mean that some of these previous algorithms are outdated. It's just that for a particular task, you want to use a particular tool. We envision this implementation as through the uh, TMNPU, so this is a technology module that encapsulates it, the performance-heavy uh, uh, parts uh, for neural networks. So you have high bandwidth data coming in there, and uh, all the pre-processing and uh, feature extraction machine learning is then done on the module, and it can interface easily through the backplane with uh, controllers uh, that are out in the field here, and we show it with an S7. 1500. The benefits of AI is that it enables you a very flexible execution without programming. That means that the current tasks like lot size 1 production or very small series production that are often still manual can be automated. In the particular use case here, we are automating robotic grasping application where you can automatically detect where the optimal uh, grass candidates are that are most likely to lead to a successful execution. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.